We have a piece of tape here that I want them to roll back at the station. You guys both remember when we were in Washington and they were down three games to one. They had a practice, uh, uh, their morning skate, their normal morning skate. Then they had a meeting and they came out of the meeting and uh, it, was something, it, was, it was a different thing for them to have that kind of a meeting and then come out the way they were. And you could see it in their faces. They weren't done yet. Well, they had a lot of hockey left in them. I mean, I remember last year against New Jersey, basically did somewhat the same thing. They got down and went in and won game six. And when they won that, uh, that the fifth game against Washington, you could feel the momentum start to change for them. They got focused again. They weren't to that point. I really didn't think so. The tail end of the season, they turned it and took off, and that, uh, the rest is history right now. They beat, they beat the two best clubs in hockey to begin this, the playoff year. <laughs> and then they uh, took care of Boston, and Chicago's a great hockey club. But uh, I think they're, they're, they won the Stanley Cup when they won the first two rounds. Don't you agree, yeah. Mario? Huh? Don't you agree, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> what, what about the... Uh, the tur hey, Mario, why I got you here? We have another piece of tape here. You remember uh, the goal that Ron Francis scored, a 60, about a 45-footer against New York that made it 4-3 after they killed you the You told him what to do, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> no. Big yeah. turning point. Yeah, that was a big turning point. Uh, you know, that was a five-minute penalty before that, and uh, the guys came out and scored two goals to tie the game up, and uh, they showed a lot of character once again, and um, that's how we won the cup. You know, coming back that game, it would have been tough to come back uh, if we would have lost that game, but... Uh, they showed a lot of character and they never quit. And guys like Ronnie came through for us. Uh, Sean McEachern came through. Hardy came through, and uh, that's a that's a good sign of a, a great Johnny, team. I know we might be short on time, but I got to ask him this question. And I know we're not short on time, by the uh, way. Well, it's probably not fair to you, but Mario, I mean, uh, with, with the accomplishments now in the two playoff years and uh, winning the Conn Smythe Trophy. Uh, do, do you think you're that close to being the best player in the world? I mean, uh, be honest with me. I mean. Uh, well, I think uh, uh, Say you know, yes. last, last, year, last year in the playoffs, I think I was the best player in the world. Yeah. And again, this year, uh, I know I had some back problems again this year, but uh, late in the season in the playoffs, uh, I think I showed uh, that I was the best in the world. And I want to be the best in, in the world. For and do you think you're the leader? Do you think you're the leader now that, that maybe you weren't in the early part of your career, that you, you've assumed that role by going out and taking command of it? Well, now I feel comfortable with uh, the role that I'm playing in right now. Uh, I know that I have to go out there and... and uh, 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 take the game over at certain time. And, uh, that's that's what I'm, I've been trying to do for the last couple of years. Man. Hell of a year, man. Right, right, right now they're right now they're showing your goal against Bork in Boston. Uh, did you think there was a time when you weren't going to have a chance to do that again this year? Yeah, that was uh, that was certainly difficult. Uh, you know, with all the back problems again this year, but. Uh, you know, I was able to uh, to work with Jim Jim Kittleberger, who did a great job on my back uh, the last two months of the season, and uh, you know, I was able to come back strong. Now I got to ask you one last question: Are you are you thinking about all of the golf you're going to play in the summer, or are you going to take it one game at a time? One game at a time, always. <laughs> Very good. Congratulations, yeah. man. 101, that's the number of games we play. That would be what I'd shoot for nine. So. <laughs> All right. You know, one of the things we should point out here that no, no team has. club. That's the question we have. He did it yesterday. He, special cast he was able to do it yesterday. This team, uh, Yo! no team was, has ever won a uh, Stanley Cup the way they've won it. Four, four, or three, four, and four. Let's pass the cup back. They want to pass that baby around. That's, the wives are back here. Can we see the wives? Get a shot of the wives here. Mike, move out of the way. They want to see the, the girls here. Unbelievable. Let's, let's, get, let's get some names here. Mary Lou Francis. Natalie Astley. <laughs> Pat Galoni. Some more names here. Paula Young. <laughs> Linda Mullen. What's your name? That's Eva Hardina. Are you glad that you didn't move to Boston, Mrs. Stevens? This is Mary Lou Francis. That's what I said, Mrs. Yes. Francis. You're glad he didn't move to Boston. Yes, Here's I'm Mrs. very Francis. glad he didn't move to Boston. I'm very I'm glad right. we didn't Girl. move to Boston. Are you glad? <laughs> yes. Right. You two look like look alike. You know, so sue me. I'm sorry. I like that. I like that. Uh, who's taking the picture? Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Try to cheer up a little bit now. I'm sorry, I did that. That's fine. Okay. Uh, let's. We're gonna try to find. 